Today one of the great challenges of productivity is to find complete tools that can cover various aspects of our daily lives, use separate applications to manage tasks, to create notes, manage our calendars, among other activities ends up being confusing and exhausting, increasing the possibility of errors and rework, as well as inefficient. In today's video I will make a complete review of Amplinote, a productivity hub that can be an alternative for you. I recently made here on the channel a video about the best alternative applications to Evernote, if you haven't seen it, I'll leave the link in the description, in this video, one of the mentioned was Amplinote, so the idea today is to delve into this app. For task management, Amplinote is very complete, not only for simple tasks such as a shopping list, but also for project management, in a broader way. You can create several task lists, categorizing with colors, flags and tags, it is possible to include notes with images, videos, spreadsheets, texts, create shared tasks, aiming at collaborative work, in addition to being able to create alarms and reminders for your tasks. Another interesting feature is that the app uses the Eisenhower matrix to prioritize its tasks, placing a priority score in each task, seeking to streamline the focus of its work. When we talk about the calendar, it is very complete, it synchronizes with Google Calendar, Apple Calendar and Microsoft Outlook, it is possible to view your appointments daily, in a week of 5 days, a week of 7 days, and the monthly view, the synchronization is perfect, but here we have a limitation, if you are using the free version, you can only view your appointments, to edit, it will redirect to the original app, now that it is in the paid version, it is possible to edit in Amplinode itself, if for you the visualization is already enough, then it will not be a problem. It is important to note that you will have your appointment calendar on the screen and next to it your list of tasks of the day, so this simultaneous visualization makes everyday life much easier, in addition to being able to drag the tasks directly to the calendar. Now when we talk about note management, the app is very complete, it really is an alternative to Evernote or OneNote, because it has categorization by tags, you can create formatted texts, attach videos, PDFs, photos, spreadsheets and other file formats, in addition to being able to integrate all this with your calendar and your task manager, everything works together. In addition to of course having an excellent search system, a great feature is that during migration, you can easily import files from Notion, Evernote, Rome, Obsidian, Bear and Workflowy, so migration is easy and noise-free. The note input is also very simple, with a simple touch you can make a quick note, as it happens in Apple Notes, Google Keep, Evernote and OneNote, so if you are used to this fast information input, you can rest assured, it works very well in Amplinote. Amplinote has a very interesting free version, which can be used without problems, in a very functional way, of course if you want the best features, you will have to pay for this, monthly subscriptions start at $5.84. The highlights for the premium version are the possibility of editing your calendar directly in Amplinote, instead of just viewing it as in the free version, you can activate collaborative work, you can switch between 6 different themes, you can import files and videos of more than 5 megabytes, in addition to having access to the graphic visualization of your files, such as a neural network, as with Obsidian. Amplinote has free apps for Android, iPhone, iPad, but to download the versions for Windows or Mac, you need to subscribe to the premium version, but in the free version we have the web version for computers. A very cool feature is the possibility of including third-party plugins in your app, there are 77 in total, with the vast majority free, and can turbocharge your AmpleNote. Is it worth it? Well, I think it can be a good alternative for many who need an app in this style of productivity hub, with a good task manager, a good note manager, full integration between them and the calendar. The paid version is worth it, the free version has some limitations that may be decisive for some, but for others may not be important. I suggest you give it a test and draw your conclusions. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.